AOC monitors can develop various display problems that interfere with your viewing experience. Understanding when and why to reset your monitor can save you time and frustration. These display issues can range from image distortion and fuzzy images to flickering screens and input errors. When these problems occur, a monitor reset is often the most effective solution. There are two main types of resets you can perform on your AOC monitor. A soft reset, also called a power cycle, and a hard reset, known as a factory reset. A soft reset or power cycle is the simpler option. You turn off the monitor, unplug it from power for about a minute, then plug it back in. This resolves minor software glitches and temporary issues. A hard reset or factory reset is more comprehensive. It restores your monitor to its original factory settings, but this erases all your custom configurations like brightness, contrast, and color settings. Let me show you the power cycle process in detail, as this should always be your first troubleshooting step. The power cycle process involves five simple steps. First, turn off your monitor using the power button. Then unplug the power cord from the electrical outlet and wait 30 to 60 seconds before plugging it back in and turning the monitor on. For more serious issues, you may need to perform a factory reset. This requires accessing your monitor's on-screen display menu. To access the factory reset option, you'll use your monitor's on-screen display menu. Press the menu button on your monitor to open the OSD interface, which looks similar to what you see here. However, before performing a factory reset, understand that this will erase all your custom settings. This includes your brightness and contrast adjustments, color calibration, input preferences, and any custom display modes you've configured. Use factory reset only as a last resort when other troubleshooting methods have failed. Remember, start with a simple power cycle for minor issues and only use factory reset for persistent problems that cannot be resolved otherwise. This approach will help you maintain your custom settings while effectively troubleshooting display issues. To factory reset your AOC monitor, start by pressing the menu button on your monitor to access the on-screen display menu. Navigate through the menu using the arrow buttons to find the extra, options, or settings section. The exact name may vary depending on your AOC monitor model. Look for the reset option, which may be labeled as factory reset or default settings. Select this option and confirm your choice when prompted. After confirming the reset, your monitor will automatically reboot and return to its original factory settings. All custom configurations will be erased. If a factory reset doesn't solve your display issues, there are several troubleshooting steps you can try to identify and fix the problem. First, check all cable connections. Ensure your power cable, HDMI, DisplayPort, or other video cables are securely connected to both your monitor and computer. Next, verify that your monitor is set to the correct input source. Use the input or source button on your monitor to cycle through available inputs like HDMI, DisplayPort, or VGA. Keep your graphics drivers updated as outdated drivers can cause display issues. You can update drivers through Windows Device Manager or your graphics card manufacturer's website. If you continue experiencing problems after trying these troubleshooting steps, visit AOC's support website or contact their technical assistance team, especially if your monitor is still under warranty.